because when you get around a boy all you know how to do is flirt you don't know how to take him serious as a person and then you get ran through no we're not getting ran through over here we're gonna learn how to treat men like people so we can be treated as people and not sexual conquest it goes both ways learn how to have dialogue with men so it's a community well, you got potential Looking at my mantle Of what you pay it is Ada Omar and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be about how to be friends with men as a single woman. Let's jump right into it. I am getting ready to go out to an event so I'm going to be doing my makeup while I'm talking. So first things first, there are five ways that you can be friends with the guy. Five ways. Number one, do not, and I mean do not have any type of sexual relationship with him at all no kissing no long hugs no intercourse nothing no sexual relationship with this guy remember this is someone that you are trying to make a friend or you want to establish as a friend no type of sexual anything and y'all should know why at this point i don't want to go into detail about that but to brush over that it's because of soul ties it's because of getting attached it's because of someone having feelings for the other it's because of leading someone on it it goes it's a long list and oh, y'all know better don't have sex with him if you want him to be your friend all right moving Second on rule on how you can befriend a guy is no flirting I know men tend to be funny and we tend to laugh at their jokes because they are but don't forget ladies you are funny too when you're with this guy and he's making you laugh laugh but don't 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 be laughing too much to basically make him feel comfortable or anything or like give like a high laugh really just be yourself that's what I've had to learn with men especially funny men who you're laughing and laughing and laughing it comes off to the man that as a woman you're flirting and you might just be laughing to be polite or he was actually funny it could be a lot of reasons but men might find it that you're flirting so be mindful of that and just don't flirt period be yourself rule number three be direct about any type of sexual advances that he makes towards you and you know it is not friendly just starting off with sexual is not friendly let him know hey i noticed you did this the other day or even in the moment just like hey i know you do that i see you as a friend nothing more nothing less i just want to bring it to your attention because i don't want to mess up our friendship have those types of conversations with him and you might have to have it more than once and that is okay that is okay and y'all will be so surprised i'm not just giving y'all advice this is for myself too because we got to maintain these boundaries with these guys especially knowing that you're just wanting to be friends with them next rule rule number four always be a listening ear to men because at the end of the day you're trying to know this person as a friend and who they are when you're listening to your female friends are you thinking about other things are you talking about yourself more or are you genuinely listening it's the same thing for men take your time out and listen to what they have to say and get to really hear about them and get to know them that way you see them as a person and not a sexual conquest and vice versa fifth rule ladies 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 it is very important that you are carrying yourself with class when you are around a man period you're just carry yourself with class period but especially with a man that you are not wanting to be with like that and use your friend you want to come off very somewhat reserved and classy in a way and honestly this might make him more attracted to you <laughs> i'm not gonna lie but i say this because it ties into my next thing about when you're around him you have no expectations you're not expecting him to do nothing for you nothing you you are hi how are you oh what's going on how be able to have a conversation with a man without flirting without expecting oh is he gonna pay for my food oh is he gonna do this for you don't know nothing about him and that carries me into the benefits of befriending men the benefit of befriending a man is that you get to learn who he is as a person 
and with that you get to see his true colors or just the true him of who he is period as a person not someone who's chasing you not someone who's trying to impress you this occurs after they have established that we are friends this girl does not want me she don't want to date me she don't see me that way she's just my friend so i'm about to open up and tell her the truth a lot of men do that go ahead and yet that be your time ladies to get to really know him so just in case the back of your head you actually kind of liked him you would get to see him and learn more about him. you have to be able to listen to other people and not talk about yourself all the time sometimes we tend to just talk about ourselves because men know how to ask good questions and get us talking and be free and no don't do that <laughs> don't do that stop pause listen let him talk learn about him it's not always about you the next benefit of befriending a man is that you get to establish community when you have friends that are males they put you on to a lot of different things they put you on to business stuff things that you would not know no offense because there are a lot of women entrepreneurs out here there are a lot of successful women but i'm just trying to say you get to learn a different side of species when you're always around women it's a lot of the same dialogue a lot of the same topics sometimes they just talking about boys and what boys do and don't do but when you're around men it might be something else the topic of conversation could really be about other things and you become more wise because you're getting a different perspective that's not your own. There are men in different places that you might need to be in so you can expand your business. You can do different things with yourself. How can you do that if you're always around the same beauty community when you need to learn more about real estate and he happens to be a real estate agent? Yes, you have a female friend that's a real estate agent, but you never know what he knows and how he can put you on to different things. And you should be open-minded to befriending him so he can put you on to it. And that brings me to my next topic. Another reason why it's important to befriend men is because it helps us all be on one accord. Oftentimes, women feel like men don't understand this and women feel like men don't understand that. And same thing for boys. They think that women are like this and women are like that. Blah, 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 blah. We tend to do that with each other. But when you're friends with a man, he will give you a perspective from a man from different things and it kind of helps you think a little bit different it helps you think a little bit more broad and you won't always think well boys do this and boys do that you stop generalizing and you realize not all men do that not all boys do that let me stop putting this to one gender this is a people problem this is not a man problem basically be more open-minded in order to do so you have to have friends that are different genders so it is okay to be friends with guys. Just know how to do it and don't have sex with them when they try to have sex with you. And don't be so quick to when they want to date you, date them. Stop it, ladies. Learn to say no thank you. I'm not interested. Something that I wish I could see more in my community is less boy crazy women. Women, learn to stop being so quick to be like this boy likes me i think this boy likes me i think that boy likes me i think this boy likes me stop doing that remember women are attractive that is how god created us he created us to be attractive and beautiful men are gonna like women it is natural <laughs> But stop thinking they all like you. Don't forget you have a vagina. They're going to want to sleep with you. You are you got a freaking vagina and you got boobs. And you have a pretty face. Yes, they like you. Stop. Let, I say that because a lot of women be so... Not women, girls. Be real quick to be like, oh my gosh, let's talk about this boy. Oh my gosh, I think you guys... Are. Stop. Because when you get around a boy, all you know how to do is flirt. You don't know how to take him serious as a person. And then you get ran through. No, we're not getting ran through over here. We're going to learn how to treat men like people. So we can be treated as people and not sexual conquest. It goes both ways. Learn how to have dialogue with men. So it's a community. This is coming from someone who has mostly male clients. Y'all can talk about a million and one things. It does not have to be about getting in your pants. Who you last dated if they're a potential partner 
and if you want to smash it don't got to be like that and I'm tired of seeing that okay okay not coming for nobody I just noticed this in our community I noticed this with girls especially young girls we just tend to see boys as like oh my gosh he likes me oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh, oh my gosh. and it's like it's sad because it makes me think like are you not liked at home is your dad not telling you you're beautiful at home that the minute that a boy gives you his attention he likes you he <sighs> stop i would like to add here that i'm aware that many families within the black community come from single parent homes where girls are raised by their mothers and there is a lack of a man there is a lack of male attention and a man telling his daughter that he loves her she's beautiful she's worthy she deserves a man who loves her equally and the same i understand that but because we do come from these homes we need to be hyper aware that we cannot seek male validation and male attention and be so eager to bask in it because we are leading ourselves into a life of promiscuity and into wanting to be loved and liked by random men who just want to use us for our bodies. It's very important to, despite not having a father figure, despite not having a lot of male attention growing up, to know that as a woman, you will always get that because you are beautiful inside and out. And just know that you are loved by the most high God's love is more than enough, and you have to remember that as a woman. Learn how to be friends with guys. They're just people at the end of the day. And don't forget, they're gonna like you. That's an expectation. Like, we, we know that already. We have vaginas. Look how God created us. We're beautiful. We have boobs. We have pretty face. We have butt. Like, we look good. Of course, they're gonna like you. But make them like you for who you are. For who you are. What's in your heart. Not about how you look. Because that's a given, sweetie. We gonna look good, duh. But who are you as a person? What do you have going on? What are you, what, what's, what are your interests? Be able to have these types of conversation with men and still not date them and still not let them be your boyfriend. Because let me tell you, every time you're able to have this connection with a guy, you're gonna wanna date them. And that's, that's really scary. Because a lot of young girls do that and they forget, like, you might still meet your person later on. You just happen to know this person as a friend and y'all, you were able to hold a conversation because he asked you the right questions or vice versa. So it'll really help you eliminate lust versus love and really just get to learn people so from this living. is the finished look. All right. This is the finished look. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video about basically how to befriend a man as a single woman, five ways to do it, and five benefits. Please take my advice. I know life is weird. Men are weird. Girls are... People are weird, period. But I'm telling you, there's a lot of benefits to come to befriending men and not sleeping with them or not dating them or not being their boyfriend. Just learn it. Learn it, y'all. It's a. It's very much a life skill, and it, it will get you further in life than befriending and boyfriend boyfriending every guy that comes your way like you don't have to do that you, you they can be your friends they really can no matter how beautiful you are you can keep male friends okay but all right you guys this is the end of my video thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time bye